Hello everyone, this is Alejandro Cremades and today we're going to be talking about the best pitch deck for seed rounds. So before we get started, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and this way you will never miss out on any of the videos that we roll out every week. So seed rounds of financing, they are essential. They are the very first round of financing that you're going to be getting for your startup from outside capital, from investors. So in today's video, we're going to be breaking it down for you so that you get a good understanding as to what is going to be the pitch deck that you're going to require to put together to really come out with a bang to, com to really convince those investors and to get that money in the bank. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first and foremost, what are seed rounds? So seed rounds are any round of financing before a Series A. Series A rounds are in essence the very first institutional round that you're going to be doing with your business when you have venture capital firms, private equity firms investing. So anything before that is a seed round. It doesn't matter if it's pre-seed, micro-seed, it's still a seed round. So seed rounds typically they go anywhere from $250,000 all the way up to $2 million and the valuation is all over the place where you're going to have sometimes an equity round where you're pricing the, the round and that could be anywhere between maybe like going from like three all the way to 10 million. But in essence, what you're doing and many people are doing is they're just using a convertible note or a safe note, which is taking the money in, in some form of debt that would convert later on into a equity, uh, into equity ownership. So that's essentially a seed round. Now in a seed round, Typically, the investor is going to be more interested in the founding team, in the roadmap that you have, and it's not so much about historicals, what you're doing and where you're coming from. It's all about future and it's all about possibility. And that's essentially what you want to capture in the essence of your story and also in the pitch deck when you are putting it together for your seed round. So the investors that you're going to go after when we are thinking about a seed round and who are those investors that are going to be reviewing your pitch deck. And by the way, when it comes to pitch deck, you should download below the pitch deck template that entrepreneurs are using all over the world to raise millions so that you don't start from scratch. But in essence, the investors that you're going to go after are going to be angel investors. Those are individuals that are maybe like senior executives, but essentially that qualify as accredited investors. And that is someone that is either making over $300,000 a year with their spouse or that has, without counting their residents, $1 million in assets. And that's typically in the US. Otherwise, the investor can't really invest in the company. It's not an accredited investor. Now, the other ones that are going to be investing at a seed stage could be angel groups, which is a collective group of people. Uh, per perhaps, you know, like there's some of those formal groups like the Houston Angel Network, the New York Angels. Those are angel groups that essentially invest in seed stage companies. Now, the other ones that you're going to go after are perhaps venture capital firms and also micro venture capital firms. But Typically, my recommendation is that you shy away from venture capital firms at a seed stage because you still don't have the wheel already turning, that wheel that venture capital firms like. So if you need to pivot the business to adjust to whatever the market is telling you, you may run into the problem that it could be a turnoff for that venture capital firm. And if they don't reinvest on your next round, then that's, that is going to send a negative signal to the market and that could leave you to die. So that's essentially why I always try to recommend to shy away from those institutionals, from those VCs, and perhaps more the individual route where they're going to be more flexible and they're going to be more understanding in the event that you need to change your business model. So typically the money that you're raising from a seed stage uh, financing round is going to be allocated for hiring more employees, more team members, to really getting that leadership in place 
and then also to create the minimum viable product, what it's called the MVP. Now that could be for creating your product, for really creating your service, but essentially that prototype that you want to put over on the market so that you can start to get some validation and some feedback from customers and potential customers that you can use in order to up optimize whatever you're doing that it's going to get you to the next round of financing, which is the Series A which could happen 18 to 24 months from the time that you close your seed round. So seed stage pitch decks, ultimately they could be seen as a brochure, but in essence they are going to be between 15 to 25 slides and that's it. And obviously you want to have the right type of flow, the right type of structure, and in a way in which is compelling. So it needs to be gradually getting the investor excited. You, wanna, you don't want to start with a bang at the beginning because then it's going downhill from there. So it's like a, really like a story what you're, what you're sharing that ends with a very powerful end that is going to trigger more meetings or that is going to trigger more questions because at the end of the day, more questions that you get to address, more concerns that you're also able to put out of the way. And when there's no concerns, it's ultimately when the money is in the bank. And that's why and what you want to go after. Next is gathering all your data. Before you even go into preparing the pitch deck, you want to gather all the data. You want to understand what are going to be those key pieces of information that you're going to be including in your presentation, whether it's metrics, whether it's uh, milestones, but you need to have those in a way that they're accurate and in a way that you could validate those whenever the investor is asking you or you need to go into due diligence, which essentially is validating whatever claims that you're making. Now, before you're even sending your pitch deck or even thinking about the pitch deck, you want to understand what are going to be those investors, who are going to be those investors. And typically the investors that you're going to go after, you're going to do so because they are checking the mark on the investment thesis that goes with your opportunity, whether it is your geographic location, where you're located. So obviously if you're in Europe, you're not going to go after investors that are investing in the US. Or also the other thing that you're going to go after is your segment. So if you're in healthcare, you're not going to go after investors that are investing in fintech. The next is financing cycle. If you're going after seed stage investors, depending on your ticket size and your valuation, you're not going to go after series A or series B financing rounds type of investors because it's going to be outside of their investment, you know, thesis and, and mentality. So Again, you want to make sure that you're gathering that list, those people that you're going to go after, and you can use tools, as I have mentioned many times, like Crunchbase, Mattermark, and Pitchbook. Next, you want to choose how you want to design your pitch deck. Now, you definitely want to use a nice balance between visuals as well as text, because when it's too texty, it's going to be overwhelming for the investor, and remember, Investors only spend reviewing those pitch decks two minutes and 41 seconds based on data. That's it. They're literally skimming through the presentation. So you need to put the presentation in a way in which the flow is super nice when you're skimming through it and that right away they're going to get what you're doing. And that's why, as they say, an image or a visual could be a million words. Now, there is many principles that identify and that define a super successful pitch deck. And for example, on our inner circle, which is the fundraising training where we help from A to C with raising capital, you would see in there, and by the way, you can see it on the link below the program, but in essence, you can see there the, some of the successful pitch, pitch decks of of startups today that went IPO, that back in the day they were doing their seed round, their series A, as great examples that you could use as a form of inspiration. But in any case, the key factors to keep in mind that determine the success of a race based on your pitch deck is really essentially the following. Simplicity, clarity, demonstrating focus, establishing credibility and capability, conveying the attractiveness and fit of the investment, compelling real action. Now, in terms of structure, you need to nail it. And the structure of your pitch stick, the one that you want to follow, is going to be the following. 
the cover slide, which is essentially, you know, like where you put your contact information or where you put a super beautiful picture of what you're doing. The problem slide, essentially listing, you know, what you're facing. The solution slide, what you're bringing to market and what is that gap that you're covering. The market slide, here you're obviously talking about how big it is and how it's growing. The product slide, maybe you can introduce some screenshots of what you're doing. The traction slide, some of the metrics, you could talk about revenue, customers, whatever that is, that is going to put you in a good spot. The team slide, here you're going to be adding some nice pictures of the team and you're going to be talking about key accomplishments of each one of you. The competition analysis slide, you can put it on an axis and list all your competitors and put yourself in a place where they can see you in a blue ocean strategy. The financial slide, here you're going to be just showing, you know, your projections and how you're growing over time on the numbers. The ask slide, how much are you raising? Probably better here to go with a range. And the thank you slide, obviously don't forget your contact information here. Now, when you are grabbing your pitch deck and sending it, you need to be very careful because the last thing that you want is to have a massive document as an attachment that is going to forbid people from opening it. So one thing that you could do is literally use a Dropbox or a Google Drive where you're placing your presentation in there and just grabbing a link and sharing that link because that's going to help you from landing on spam filters or anything that could prevent the investor from seeing the pitch deck. So hit a like on this video, also leave a comment and let me know the way that you're thinking about your seat round and also subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on all the videos that we're rolling out every week. And then also if you're raising money, send me an email at alejandro at pantheraadvisors.com. I would love to help you with your fundraising efforts. Thank you so much for watching.